Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a sort of news video. I'm just pausing because I know you're all screaming in joy right now because I said I was doing a news video and you're super excited. Calm down. Rain it in. Come on. Let me at least finish my intro before you start squealing. I found a bunch of random meth-related news stories, a couple random pictures, so I thought I'd uh, throw it in a video and see where it goes. So let's just get into these. First, I just want to talk about this dude named uh, Todd Barrick, who looks way too close to Walter White. And of course, if you're going to look like Walter White, you got to dive into the meth life. He's got like a warrant out for his arrest or something because of methamphetamine. Holy shit, maybe he was inspired by Walter White. I don't know why he's got the pink and purple in his beard. That's about the only difference. I want to see him throw a pizza on a roof, okay? If he can nail that, then he is definitely the doppelganger of Walter White. Maybe this was the inspiration for the character. You never know. You never know. Woman arrested for DWI blames brother for feeding her a meth sandwich. Yeah, that looks like the kind of guy that would feed you a meth sandwich. Is that like a knuckle sandwich? So this story was, uh, they got pulled over and she was like drunk and high on meth and she was like, hey, if I test positive for meth, it's because my brother fed me a meth sandwich. He's always sneaking meth into my diet. He's like a holistic healer. Instead of lavender, though, he uses meth. He knows it's good for the body, so he's just trying to protect his sister or whatever it's like yeah he fed me a meth sandwich and i also smoked meth but it's the it's the sandwich you should never sneak meth into someone's diet okay it's not healthy it's not good this one's pretty fucking disgusting despicable like this is a disgusting human being florida mother let her two-year-old child smoke meth and marijuana authorities say a woman in waka waka ula something something like yeah florida Oh, Florida. No way. Faces a charge of child abuse after authorities determined she let her two-year-old smoke meth. And I read the rest of this one. Basically, she was letting this kid roll her joints and smoke meth. And I just want to say, if a two-year-old knows how to roll a joint, that's a pretty smart two-year-old. But why are you giving your two-year-old meth? The two-year-old tested positive for meth. Are you insane? A two-year-old is still developing, learning how the world works. And you're going to give them meth? And that's besides the point. It's a child. You're the mother of this child. You're this child's sworn protector. And you can't even handle not giving your child meth. You want to put that shit in your own lungs? That's not good. But don't friggin' force it on your child. They don't know any better. What, are you just fucking lonely? You're looking for someone to smoke meth with? Maybe here's an idea. Why don't you just be a good mother and get your priorities straight and stop smoking meth? Wow. I just cracked the code. Be self-aware enough to just give your child away then. Because that's fucked up. That is disgusting. That poor child. They're probably going to have a lot of problems now. A lot of mental disabilities. Because you should not be smoking meth at two years. You should not be smoking meth, period. But especially not if you're a two-year-old. It's fucked up. It is literally just completely fucked up. And I'm glad she's in jail. And I'm she's probably out of jail now. But still, that kid, I hope, never comes anywhere near his mother ever again. You don't deserve to have your child if you're that bad of a mother. This one, like, hits a nerve. Because I'm a... Not even just because I'm a father now, but I hate when people just... Uh, I just don't like seeing people hurt children. Obviously, nobody does, but it just gets on my nerves. That's just a fucked up person. Even without the meth. Even a meth head who smokes meth every day. I bet you even most... Sorry. I bet you even most people who smoke meth every day aren't that low to... Oh, fuck it. I can't fucking... I can't do it. She's a piece of shit, all right? She's a piece of shit. I hope that kid's doing fine now. Nurse arrested and fired after stealing feces out of elderly bedpans. According to the report obtained from police, Miss Blueford was found by a doctor with a piece of human feces in her hand with traces of it on her face. Now, I'm not 100% sure this person is a meth head or smoking meth, but, you know, if you're rubbing elderly person shit on your face, then you gotta be doing some sort of drugs, right? We're just gonna slip it in there because this seems like something someone on meth would do. Why are you smuggling turds? What possible reason could you have to smuggle turds from elderlies? You thought it ex- it would exfoliate your skin or something? It's that aged feces that really brings your pores. It really cleans your pores, right? Sick. Sicko. Shit. 
sick. This is some sick shit. Here's another uh, strange one. Man who threw meth-fueled death party for ailing wife gets three years in prison, and he looks so happy about the three years in prison he got. Look at him. He is ecstatic. So apparently, I'm not going to read the entire article, but this man's wife, she was on her deathbed in a nursing home, and she said she wanted to die in her own home. Okay, that's reasonable. The nurses said, no, don't take... Th they all told him not to take her away from the nursing home. But she insisted, wanted to go home with her husband and just hang out in bed. So he took her home. And then they proceeded to have like a week-long meth binge where they listened to their favorite band and smoked meth. And that was the meth party. It doesn't sound like anyone was really... <laughs> no one else was really involved in the meth party. So it was more of like a meth date but the story gets so weird because he's like he called the cops and said my wife is dead because she she od'd on meth and they came to the door and he answered the door naked of course and then he said hey hold on a second okay i know my wife's dead upstairs but i gotta go to the bath and wipe off all these black spots that are all over me because he was on meth and there was probably nothing on him he's like i gotta scrub i gotta scrub and so he went and he took a bath and they questioned him as he was sitting in the bath and his wife was rolled up in a carpet or something upstairs because he said he wanted to honor her like the bible would because i guess that's what you do you smoke a bunch of meth and then roll roll them up in a carpet that's I'm sure it's in the Bible somewhere, right? No, I, I don't think so. Maybe it was a different draft. And he even said that his wife wanted him to have sex with her a few hours before she died. Oh, that is messed up. I'm not going to go into detail, but that's, that's pretty much where it ended. And that's... <laughs> This fucking, that meth is a hell of a drug, I guess, right? I mean, I, I respect the guy for being like, you know, all my wife wants to do is come home and die in her own bed. If that was her real wishes, that's fine. Hell, even if she wanted to die going on a meth binge. Okay, if she's gonna die in a couple weeks anyway, well, you never should do drugs, but if you're gonna die in a week anyway, fuck it. That's when you should start experimenting with drugs because what the fuck else matters? Maybe meth would have cured her or some shit. I don't know. So he was just trying to do right by his wife, but instead... I don't know. He's got three years in prison because of the neglect because she died in a methamphetamine overdose and it was pretty much his fault. He was going to get like third degree murder or something like that, but uh, he pled to the lesser. And you know what, man? You, you love your meth, but I'm glad you're in jail for three years because hopefully you won't be able to get meth in jail and you can go three years sober and just kind of rethink your life a little bit. But this guy is just like has an infectious smile. Like, look at him. He's so freaking happy. He's ecstatic. He is so excited to be in jail for three years. He's gonna make so many friends. And now let's just take a little picture break. When you're high on meth, chilling in the hot tub, but the cops won't leave you alone. Holy, ugh, that is disgusting. Oh my god. Oh god, dude, you are sitting in so much pee and poo. That's, oh god, no, that's disgusting. Oh, I don't even like going into porta potties, let alone what's standing in the bottom of one. Oh, I don't. Oh, that is just wrong. It is wrong on so many levels. Oh my god. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh. I'd say that porta potties are one of the most disgusting places on the planet. It is the most disgusting little room you can be in. It's just bobbing for apples, huh? And I've got one more meth story for you to wrap this video up. Topless Tennessee woman chewing on horse's mane charged with public intox. Sucation. This woman was charged after being spotted chewing on a miniature horse's mane, claiming it was candy. She said it was made of Laffy Taffy and Airhead candy. When asked where her shirt was, she looked down and did not know her shirt was missing. A deputy found her shirt about 30 feet from her. How <laughs> are you so high on drugs you didn't even know you were topless? I guess you're so high on drugs you didn't know you were topless and you were trying to eat a horse mane. You're eating horse hair. Meth is a hell of a drug. Fuck. I wonder if it really did taste like Laffy Taffy and candy to her. You know, she could have done a lot worse, though. She could have, like, tried to eat the actual horse or murdered the horse. It seemed like very innocent. You know, she was just topless chewing on some horse hair. She didn't hurt the horse. She didn't try to ride it off into the sunset. She just wanted to see if the hair was made of candy. And she said the hair was made of candy. Did any of these officers even bother to try to see if it really was made out of candy? Maybe she wasn't even crazy. I'm on your side, lady. There's so many crazy situations that happen, and you can pretty much trace 
trace them back to drugs. Especially meth makes some people do some fucked up shit. Because I heard that the high from meth gives you like an extreme amount of confidence. Mm, confidence and drugs, that's not a good mixture. But anyway, yeah, there's some news stories. Not sure how this video is going to be perceived, but that's... Uh... Alright, yeah, there. Some stories about meth for you. And if anything, just take what you've learned from this video and realize that meth is not something anyone should be doing. Have a nice day. Bye.